two, one. In this video, we're going to be going over how to find the slope of a line through two points without using a formula. So from a graph, normally slope we think of as rise over run. So that's going to be the main thing we keep going back to. So rise over run. Now going from the uh, XY pairs, we want to look at which variable goes with the rise. That's up and down. So that's going to go with the Y variable. So we're looking between five and eight for this example here. The run, that's left to right. That's going to go with our X variable. So that's going to be there. And that's between the two and the four. Now, as far as doing the calculations, we're going to start by looking at the rise or the Y's. So that's between the five and the eight. Five, six, seven, eight went up three. And all I'm doing is counting with my fingers or whatever. Five, six, seven, eight. That's a change of three for the Y's. Now for the X's, we're looking between the two and the four. Two, three, four went over two for the run. So that's going to be our denominator. So for the line that goes through the points two, five, and four, eight, its slope is three over two or three halves. Another example, this one, two, eight, and four, five, similar numbers, just to kind of change the order up, give us a different look. Uh, rise over run, again, rise, that's up and down, goes with the Y variable. Run, that's left to right, goes with the X's. So we'll start with a rise between eight and five. Now, in this case, the numbers are getting smaller. So this line is going down between the eight and the five. So eight, seven, six, five went down three. So that's going to be our numerator. The run, the X's, that's between the two and the four, two, three, four, same as the last one, went over two. So that's going to go there. As far as this negative symbol, you can leave it in the numerator or you can put it out in front. So negative three over two or negative three halves. Either way will work. Another example, four, five, two, eight. We're looking for the slope of the line through those two points. Rise over run, rise with change in Y's, run with change in X's. Looking at the Y's first from five to eight will give us a run. Five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be up three. Now the run goes with the X's, so we're looking from four to two. Now in this case, the numbers are getting smaller, so we can think of this as going backwards. Backwards how many? Backwards two. So that's going to be a negative two for our run. Rarely do we ever leave the negative in the denominator, so you can either put that out in front, same as the last one, or it can go in the numerator. Negative three over two. If you're graphing, normally it makes sense to have it more in the numerator, down three, right two, when you're graphing the line. Last example, looking for the slope of the line between four, eight, and two, five. Again, looking for rise over run. Rise with the Y's from eight to five, eight, seven, six, five. That's gonna go down three. And then run with the X's. Four to two, same as last one, four, three, two. It's going to go backwards or smaller by two. Here we have a negative over a negative or negative divided by negative does make positive. Slope of this line, same as the first one, three over two. That is a, this is a way that you can find the slope of a line through two points without using the formula. The formula is basically the same thing, except you're using subtraction instead of just counting how far up, how far down, how far over. Thanks for watching.